All right, so Chris, now one thing we agreed on that we weren't really going to touch very much is is your putting, okay? Um, I'm confident that you're a pretty good putter and that, you know, I don't want to screw too many things up before uh, you start your next match here. You're in the middle of your uh, high school matches. But one thing we can talk about definitely is your green reading. Yeah. Okay, that's one thing I really think we can improve upon. So when we talk about green reading, what are the aspects of that that, that you're focused on when you're looking at a putt? So, uh, two obvious things are uh, slope. Two obvious things are uh, slope and like like direction, like which way the putt's gonna break. So like for this putt, for instance, obviously there's a pretty big slope. You can see it's, it's downhill quite a bit and it's breaking to the right, like right. pretty hard. It's a downhill right right breaker, Yeah. okay? Um, so those are two, two kind of common things, um, but there are a few other things. Talk to me about kind of the grain of the grass and the color of the grass. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, so, uh, like, for, so it, like if the grass is uh, darker, then that means the grain's against you. Mm -hmm. so that'll kind of slow the putt down a little bit. Right. And if it's lighter, the grain is uh, with you, which might speed it up a little. Right. If it's, if it's a darker color, um, the grain is against us, and that slows down the putt. And if it's, if it's away from us and the putt's going to be fast, you're going to see a lighter color. Of green, so that's very important, yeah. obviously. So why don't you hit a, hit another putt with that in mind? Not bad there. <laughs> I I can't really top that, but. Uh, that's a pretty good putt right there. I mean, that, that was a much more focused on the speed as it relates to the elevation change. Yeah, yeah. And as importantly, you know, the grain of the grass and, you know, how we need to, to hit a putt with that in mind. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about, you already figured this putt out, but because um, you just made it there, but is the apex point. You know what we're talking about when we talk about apex point? Yeah, kind of like where the ball changes course. So, like, uh, like this putt loops quite a bit, so where... It starts headed towards the hole. Right. And the main point you made there is where the where the ball changes course. That's exactly right. I mean, this is this putt with such a break is kind of two putts in itself. Yeah. First is, you know, your um, your goal to get it to the apex point and then figuring out from that point what the what the ball is going to do, how it's going to roll, how it's going to change course. All right? So you already figured it out there, but let's just walk up to the apex point, you and I, and see if we can find it. Right. And obviously, now that you made the putt, we know that that's the apex point, but it's crucial to figure that out. One thing you did there is, is made a swing, made a, a practice putt from that, that point. And that's pretty key because, like we said, this is really two putts. Yeah, yeah. It's hitting to the apex point and then figuring out what's going to happen from that point. Yeah. All right, so I'll have you hit another putt here, even though you already have this one figured out. But trying to hit that apex point that we just walked up to. Not bad. I mean, when you hit that point and you have in your mind, this is one thing we can really do to improve our putting, all right? Not looking at the just the end target, just like we did with the chipping rings yes. um, before, um, but looking at the, the target area, the point at which the ball is going to change course, and that's, that's the apex point. When we get that combined with all the other factors, we're going to start, start making more putts, okay? Why don't you hit those last two?